Hi everyone! So today I thought I'd have a go at doing my first monthly favourites because a lot of people on YouTube do this um, and I actually really like watching these videos so I thought, do you know what, I'm going to have a go myself. Um, so I've, this is going to be a more beauty, fashion-y sort of favourites video. So I've just got a load of the products and um, everything that I've been absolutely loving and obsessed with this month and I'm just going to show you that so you can all see what I have been loving and then I'd love to know what you've all been loving as well so comment down below and let me know because it'd be nice to try some new things um, and just see what everyone else has been uh, obsessed with this month but anyway so here we go so I'm going to start with makeup and the first thing I have been loving this month is the Benefit That Girl Primer um, and this is just a brightening face primer I have had this for a long time, this one's nearly used up now but I've been using, I got given a little sample of it um, and I have just been using it every day since and it really does just make my whole face and my skin really healthy. At this time of year that is so perfect and it's exactly what I've needed but I just, I've used this a lot, I use this all through the summer as well and I just love it, it's such a great primer. Um, I find I'm honest, I haven't heard many people talk about this one but I definitely recommend it so go and try it out because I think it is brilliant. Whilst I'm on Too Faced I'm going to show you my Rimmel Match Perfection Translucent um, Loose Powder. This has been just, I've used this every day this month I think. I don't really think I've used any other powders unless I've been recording. Um, but I, this is the only loose powder I have and I hadn't used one before. And it's so good, like I love it, I love the way it makes my skin look, I love the way it goes on. I just, I can only say good things about this, it's not cakey or anything, it's such a nice powder and it wasn't expensive, so that's another bonus. So yeah, definitely go and try this out. Next up is my Bobbi Brown bronzer, I have been using the NARS Laguna one for months, and then I got this one and decided to try it out, and that looks like this. So just... It looks like poo on my hand. Um, I've got it on my cheeks and my temples and my chin today. And it's really natural and it's... I love it. I think it's really great. It hasn't got any sparkle to it or shimmer or anything. So it's really good for contouring. Um, but I just think it's a really, really good bronzer. And I actually love the packaging. All Bobbi Brown packaging is so nice. But yeah, that is a really great bronzer. And I have been living in that this month. The next thing I'm showing you is something that's come up a lot in my videos and this is my MAC Dainty Blush. This is a mineralised blush and I've literally, I don't think I've worn any other blush for about maybe four months, <laughs> which isn't great, um, ooh, but you wouldn't even know I've used it. It's just a really nice pinky colour, it's really natural, it's got a bit of sparkle to it um, and it's just really healthy looking on your skin. I love it and I've been absolutely obsessed with it um, and it's one of those ones, I think it's quite an all round um, blush, you could wear it all year um, it will look great in the summer and the spring and because it's really natural and it's not too dark or crazy it is just so wearable and so pretty so yeah I have been absolutely obsessed with this moving on to eyes, the first thing I have been completely obsessed with this month and I really haven't worn much else on my eyes um, these are the Maybelline Colour Tattoo Cream Eyeshadows I have three of these so I've got, I'm going to show you I've got Eternal Gold, this one is Metallic Pomegranate and finally my favourite one, this is On and On Bronze and you can see that I like this one because it looks absolutely disgusting <laughs> but yeah this one is the one I've been wearing the most um, as you can see I've just worn this every day on its own for the whole month because it's so quick and easy to apply and I've been quite lazy this month. I think it's to do with the weather, excuses, um, <laughs> but yeah it's just so quick and easy to apply so I literally just throw it on, blend it out and it looks really good for an everyday look and it's so easy and quick and simple and pretty. Next thing I have been loving this month are my MAC palettes. I've finally filled them because Christmas came and this was pretty much all I asked for. Um, so I've got two. I've got this one which is, hang on I'm going to open it because it's all shiny. I've got this one and this is my kind of neutrals palette and it's got just like a mix of, it looks like these are all white, they're not. 
that's just the camera. I've got a couple of highlight shades, a couple of light kind of nudey, pinky, browny colours. I've got some browns, I've got some glittery ones, I've got some pinky colours, some slightly purpley. But yeah, that has been so pretty and I love it and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I've worn so many of these colours. My next one is this one and this one's got more colours in it. It's quite dark as well so this is kind of like got, I've got my blues up in this top corner here, then I've got purples down this side and then in the middle I've got kind of greys and blacks and things like that so these have been really great for this time of year. I've got four lipsticks I've been obsessed with this month so if I start with this one, this is a Revlon Colour Boost, I have this on now and it's so pretty. I can't open it though. Um, this is a sparkly pinky colour, it's got kind of gold glitter in it and it's a really great everyday colour, it's really, ow, it's really creamy so um, it is one that will go on all day, it won't dry you out, everybody raves about these and this is the only one I have and I bought it not that long ago and I've just worn it every day since, I think I've only had this like about a week, maybe two weeks. Um, but it is all I've worn since I brought it. So that is a really great one. And if you're looking for a cheap lipstick, definitely go and try this out because it's a really good colour. Oh, this is Peach Parfait 025. I don't think that's showing up. But yeah, that's the colour. Um, but they're all really good and I really want to get some more and try them out. I'm obsessed with MAC lipsticks in general, but I've got three that I've been completely loving at the this moment. This first one is Russian Red. And it looks like quite a dark red. And it is matte finish, this one. Um, and I think the reason I've been loving this at the moment is because it's winter um, and because it's that bit darker it does look a lot better than wearing a bright one so I've got a brighter red that I wear more for the summer um, and then this is my dark one that is more wintry but yeah I've been loving that, I've been wearing that quite a bit recently next lipstick I have been loving is another wintry colour this isn't, is definitely not a summer colour but this is Rebel from MAC and although it looks black on camera it's not it's a really kind of purple um, well it is a, like a dark purple lipstick and it looks like this and it's really pretty like I love it. it's my goth lipstick um, so yeah I've been loving that a lot recently because it's really perfect for this time of year so I've been trying to wear it as much as I can before summer comes in although I say that we won't get summer here until halfway through August the last lipstick I have been loving is peach blossom from Mac and this is like this. This is another nudie colour. Um, this is a cream sheen finish and it's this one here um, and it's like a pinky kind of peachy sort of colour um, and I normally wear my cream cup but I tried this one and it actually looks so nice with this. So I've been wearing these two together um, and it's just such a good everyday colour. It's not too obvious, it's not quite as dark as Cream Cup so it's been really nice and I've just been obsessed with it and I honestly haven't really worn any other lipstick all month so throwing things everywhere these have been my two lipsticks this month that I've literally worn nothing else sticking to uh, beauty theme the next thing I've been obsessed with this month is a nail varnish from MAC this is Nightfall and I've got it on now and it's like a kind of um, metallic-y, bluey colour with a kind of yeah, it's like a metallic-y, bluey, grey sort of colour, it's so pretty I love it, I was given this for Christmas I put it on um, at the end of December and I haven't taken it off since. Moving on to fashion, I'm going to start with jewellery um, and this month I've been completely obsessed with rings I just love them, they look so pretty and they can either be really simple or really crazy um, and I've just worn a lot of rings this I just month. keep my favourite ones in this dishy bowly cake stand thing that my mum gave me. Um, and just keep my favourite ones in here so that I can get in them whenever I want. Um, but I've been, this is one of my favourites this month. It's so pretty. Um, another one I've loved this month is this one. And this is a lot more dainty. And I've been wearing this on my thumb because I just think that looks so pretty. These two are from Accessorize. I love this as well. This is a kind of more silvery one. 
I don't think that's going to show up. This is from Topshop. Another one I have been obsessed with is this one, which is a gain from Accessorize. And it's bluey, so it's a bit more block colour. It's not as glitzy. And the last one I've been obsessed with is this one. And I don't know where this is from, because this was given to me as a Christmas present last year. Um, but it's a kind of stretchy ring, so it's quite nice because it goes onto any finger. Um, and then it's just a bit kind of glitzy. And I think it was really perfect for Christmas. So yes, I have been slightly obsessed with this one. The one thing I have been literally completely obsessed with this month and I have worn pretty much nothing else throughout January is mohair. Um, and I have two mohair jumpers and one cardigan. Um, and oh, they are just the nicest things in the world. They are so soft and so comfy and they look so nice on. Um, and this is my favourite one. Why is the thing hanging out? Um, this one is from Topshop and it's just a little cropped. It's too, I'm too close. Hang on, I'm just going to zoom out. This is just a little cropped mohair jumper um, and it's a creamy colour. I live in the colour cream so I probably should have brought it in a different colour. But I love this. It's so cute. I've worn this so much and it's so easy to wear because it just goes over everything. So you can wear it with trousers or shorts or a skirt. Um... Or you can wear it over a dress, over anything. It's just really nice. I've been wearing it with either a dress or um, a little creamy shirt and black jeans, which looks really nice. Um, it's also one that you could wear throughout spring, throughout autumn, and also in the summer if there's an evening when you're cold, you can just put it over whatever you're wearing. And it just feels so nice, and it's so soft, and it kept me... It, it's just keeping me so warm at the moment. So yeah, I've been obsessed with mohair, and this is my favourite one. This is from Topshop. Sticking to the theme of jumpers, jumpers are something I live in throughout winter. I feel the cold really easily, so they're just nice because you can put layers underneath and keep really warm, but still look um, really nice, really cute and really stylish at the same time. So a couple that I've been living in are this one first. This is a Topshop one, and this is just like a bluey, slightly mild jumper, and it's really soft as well. I don't know what material this is. Um, but it's so nice. It did come with a big, sh like, what do you call it? Mesh layer over the front. I didn't like that, so I cut it off. Um, but I've been wearing this just either on its own, um, or with a little white shirt with the collar poking out. And it's really cute. I love this. Another one I've lived in a lot throughout the whole of winter, so not just this month, is this one. This is more of a sweatshirt, and it's just got a big deer on the front. Uh, this again is from Topshop. You'll soon realise that most of my wardrobe is Topshop. Um, but this is so cute with the little deer on um, and it's so warm and you can put so much underneath it. This is so nice and warm. I've just lived in this so much for the past week. I don't think I've really worn anything else because it's just kept me so warm and I've been so cold. I've been in love with dresses as well this month and I've got this one here. This is from Urban Outfitters. Um, and it looks completely see through. And this is a kind of dungaree dress, and it's really cute because it's got the little pocket on the front. Um, and I've just been wearing this with a white t shirt underneath and tights, and then little boots that I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and it just looks so cute and so nice. And it's really great for this time of year, I think. And it's another one that I'll be able to wear into spring um, and autumn, and probably into summer. I just get rid of the tights. But yeah, no, that's really nice. I've, lo I'm loving this at the moment. So as well as being obsessed with jumpers throughout winter, I'm also obsessed with boots. Um, and these first ones that I'm going to show you are my pixie boots. And these are just uh, red suede um, Chelsea boots. And honestly, I do think they look like pixie boots. So for Christmas, they're really great. Um, I love these, they're so comfy. These are, again are from Topshop, um, but I got these, oh my god, I think these are about two years old, so they definitely won't have them in stock now. But I sort of rediscovered them this year, and I love them. Just for winter, they're so perfect. So yeah, I'm loving these. Another pair of boots I've been obsessed with are again from Topshop, I'm sorry. Um, but these are slightly different. These are black boots and they are cut out ones. They look really nice on with tights 
um, or I've been wearing them with little frilly socks um, and yeah they're kind of shinier at the front and then leather in the middle but yeah I love these they're so pretty and they're so cute they're a bit more fun than just plain boots sorry I'm jingling so yeah these I love so those are my January favourites. I am sorry if this was a long video, but there was a lot of things I've been trying out this month and things I got for Christmas, so there was a lot to show. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you could kind of see some of the things I've been liking and maybe that's helpful um, for you to go and try things out um, and buy some things and try some new things, yeah. And now I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop and I'm going to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please comment and let me know what your favourites were. I'd really like to know. That'd be quite cool. Um, and please comment and let me know what else you would like to see. Any other videos you would like, to, to, um, like me to do. Whether that's a tutorial or something kind of slightly different or more like this. Um, and please subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!